Hello YouTube fam, it's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I ran and I review. Man, you know what? For the longest, I've been telling people it's a buyer's market. And a lot of people are like, no, sellers still holding on to their stuff, selling it for extremely high prices. Dude, if you wait a little bit, you can get it. If you get over that initial, you know, anxiety where it's, I gotta have it, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. Everybody else got it. I gotta got it. You get that FOMO. You sit there feeling like, I gotta have it. And you know what? You really don't. Some of the shit is hype driven up by other content creators showing you the items, showing you what they doing with it. Yeah, they making it look really good. A lot of these people are actually getting paid by these companies to do this. So you're sitting here getting endorsements, you know, to buy something from these people and it's a paid promotion on their end. You know what? This is why I say with all of this stuff going on, keep looking for them deals. Keep hunting for those deals because you're going to find them. eBay, Amazon. Amazon with me right now is kind of like a hit and miss. I usually choose eBay. Reason why that is because you, I am familiar, more familiar with eBay. And I've been with eBay for so many years. And man, I know how to categorize stuff and put it in certain piles and stuff like that to get people interested in sending me an offer. You know, that's the way I look at it, man. You know, I'm looking at everybody trying to turn and burn. They're trying to get rid of this shit. You know, people were asking me, like, what's going on with the conventions? I don't see no change in things there. In the conventions, I'm going to tell you something. In all of the conventions, people start out high on those first days of those conventions. The first day, the second day. And if it's the third day, that's when they start dropping on prices. But the first day, they're going strong. Second day, they start slightly dropping prices. The third day, they're trying to not take this shit home. And that's what's going on. See, if you wait. But like I said, we be so geeked up that, you know, man, dude, I see it. I see it. Dude, I was talking to someone the other day in the group, and they were telling me, man, I seen that Azrael Batman army you was talking about, the blue one, and they wanted 150 on eBay. And man, I seen it for like 90, man. And I was like, man, I should get it. That's a deal. And I'm like, is it? I'm like, what's so special about the figure? Now, don't get me wrong. It's an awesome figure. You know, it, the colors, the combinations, they look amazing. But I can't see justifying spending $90 and it's nothing different. It don't do anything special. You know, and again, that's just me. But he told me he found it for like 40 I told him, pick it up. He said, I bought it for 40. I said, hell, that's a good deal. He said it was free sh free shipping included. So I don't know who it was from. Maybe it was from somebody who was just selling something. But think about it, 40 with free shipping, man, that's a good deal. This is what I tell you to wait on. I tell you, wait on stuff and make sure you understand what it is you doing. A lot of us love to buy shit and don't think about it until later. Because, you know, I had a lot of people talk to me about that, saying, you ever just buy stuff and said, I'm going to worry about it later? Hell no. I have done that before, and shit came up later, whereas I couldn't enjoy this. You get what I mean? What is the purpose if you can't enjoy it? What is the purpose if it's horrible? What is the purpose if it's the next step that, you know, breaks the camel's back? You know, sometimes you buy shit that breaks the straw, the straw that breaks the camel back. Sometimes you just got to sit back and be like, no, nah, this ain't for me, man. I'm going to let this slide. I'm going to go on to the next thing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. That's what I'm doing right now, man. You know, I'm like, take your time. Dude, this is not a race. I know we all in competition with each other, and I know we are. And I hate to say it like that. Most collectors are in competition with somebody. It's somebody collection that they like, that they see. Or, you know, it's a content creator that they see they got a lot of subscribers. They want to be like that person, have more subscribers, see could they pass that person. There are people that I said, I want to see if I could pass. Dude, it's not me trying to say, oh, man, you know, their channel ain't this or that. Man, these people got fantastic channels. But my purpose here, I'm a competitive person. You know, I don't mean that I try to tear anybody else's channel down. That ain't what I'm about. But, you know, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. You know, I'm not going to make a video every five days. I'm going to make a video damn near every day. That's what I do. I like to talk. I like for us to sit here and have conversations, and that way we can discuss it in the comment section. And from the comments, I make a video from it because 
That way, you know I seen what you said. It's just hard to respond to everybody. I used to try that, and it don't work as well as you know we think it do. So, fam, with a lot of that said, I want you to all to sit back and just pay attention to what we're doing here. We're making a move. We're making a move to change a lot of stuff, man. It's a buyer's market, but we just don't see that. We don't understand that because we don't see product on the shelf most of the time. We can't understand in our areas, it's like a desert. It's a buyer's market. Look around. You can find some stuff. You know, this is why I tell people, don't be so quick to just be stuck on particular items, man. I'm just stuck on um, G.I. Joe Classified. I'm stuck on DC Multiverse, Motu, uh, Marvel Legends, uh, Super 7, NECA. You know, you have to, man, open up a little bit on what it is that you're trying to do, man, because I'm going to tell you something. Some of these toy lines, man, they go and do things that take you left. And, you know, like I said, just have fun with them. Um, someone was showing me some deals that they found from Ross. Um, they still found the um, Duke um, in the uh, Ram Cycle. You know, the Tiger Force version. They found Snake Eyes and Timbers. They found another uh, of those three sets of uh, Vipers. And I'm like, damn, where are y'all finding this shit? You know, Fiona and Croc Master. I'm like, damn, I thought all that stuff was gone. And the person said, hey, man, look, these warehouses still have stuff in them. You know, right now, you know, maybe they were short staffed and they're just trying to empty the stuff now. You know, and I'm thinking about it. Make a hell of a lot of sense. You know, again, pick and choose your battles. If you don't have the money to pay full price for something, start looking for deals. Start looking on people channels who have affiliate links. This is a way to save some money for yourself. Some people channel have, you know, in certain videos, they have different product and products from different places cause different things. And you may find a deal in there. Um, somebody had an affiliate link from Entertainment Earth and they had something that the person was looking for you know, like I said, you have to always pay attention. It's not about always what you think it is. It's about always something different. Man, being a buyer's market, you can tell people are finding stuff out here. And they're finding stuff in places that you wouldn't think they found it in. You know, stuff is starting to pick up around here. It is. But you got to be quick with it here. Chicago is one of the biggest markets out there. It's not the biggest, but it's one of. You got places like California, Florida, New York, those places, Texas, those four places get a lot of shit. But Chicago gets a lot of stuff too. And I'm gonna say not just Chicago, I'm gonna say Illinois because Illinois is the state, Chicago is a city. We get a lot of stuff here, man. And you know, you gotta be one of those people with Johnny come quickly. You can't be Johnny come lately, man. You may hear me gripe, but, you know, I'm not going to be one of those people that get up and be at the store early, waiting on the door to open, you know, to go in there and check. Man, I, I, I don't have time for that. Like I said, I'm not trying to spend that much gas anymore, man. I'm not trying to um, do too much extra shit. You get what I'm saying? But with that being said, fam, I want to say thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Uh, again, eBay. Amazon, your DD's discount, so your Ross, TJ Maxx, Targets, Burlington's, uh, Marshalls, um, Ollie's. Check these places still, man. It's still stuff in there. Walmart, it's stuff. These people get stuff on sale, on clearance that we ain't even checked out. You know, like I said, you still got to check these places, man. If you watch any of these people that do content on YouTube about action figures and things like that, check some of the stuff that they see on sale and on clearance. And that way you can check in your location to see if any of this stuff is the same. And I know everybody location ain't the same, but shit, it's worth a try. You get what I mean? But to later, fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.